Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We're just about to put the honeycomb tripe in the oven. It won't take long, so please make yourself at home. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells delicious. What a wonderful surprise. I thought you might appreciate a home-cooked meal after a long day at the office. Let me show you the living room and we can catch up while we wait for the honeycomb tripe. That sounds great. Lead the way. Right this way, Superintendent Chalmers. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. Oh, no. How could I have been so careless? I knew I should have taken it out sooner. Stupid, 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 stupid. I'll never make that mistake again. Ah. I see some blintzes outside the window. Uh, that will be the perfect replacement for the burnt honeycomb tripe. I've just got to figure out how to get them in here. I know I'll make a fishing line out of some string and try to see if I can reel them in. Now where did I put that string? Ah, uh, here it is. Now let's see if I can bait my line and catch some blintzes. All right, I think it's ready. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Casts the fishing line. Let's see what kind of luck I have. Uh, it worked. I'm so excited. I think I can actually fix this dish. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke and it smells like burning. What have you done, Skinner? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little bit of steam, I swear. Nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. Are you trying to hide something? Give me the truth, Skinner. Okay, okay. I may have accidentally started a small fire while trying to cook. But I swear it's all under control now. What is this? I asked for honeycomb tripe. Yeah, this is honeycomb tripe. It just looks a bit different. It's a special variety. It's called Blintzy. I've never heard of honeycomb tripe called Blintzy. Are you sure you didn't make a mistake? No, I'm sure. This is a rare and exotic variety of honeycomb tripe. It's an old family recipe that I had to search high and low to find. Ah. I think you got the wrong food. The kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate. No, no, it's just a little smoke from the stove. Everything's fine. No, it's definitely on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, it's just an electrical issue. We should just open a window and air the kitchen out. No, there's no time for that. We need to leave now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. Sorry about the house. I hope everyone is all right. Of course. Thanks for coming by. Take care. You too? Oh, and Chalmers. Yeah. Yes.